Alright guys, haven't done a video in a while, and this one is my first pickup videos. Um, since I haven't done shit in a while, I thought I'd do something. Anyways, I got this one from Craigslist. It was a, a good deal, I'll say. And I wanted to use this one to play games on my Android, so I can play like RetroArch games, you know, Super Nintendo and stuff like that. But the fucking thing is, it doesn't connect to the Bluetooth. I seen all this video on uh, YouTube where they say you don't need root, you don't need anything, and they managed to just to pair it. But I think I have bad luck or something. It doesn't pair. It'll detect the you know the uh, wireless controller, but whenever I press pair, it'll just keep going and it doesn't do shit. So uh, I think I either have to resell this and maybe get like a newer model. I think I think this is an older model. I'm not sure. Um, how you would determine which one is newer or older, but uh, I've seen some people said if you're using like the, the older one, it doesn't work. And another option is use an OTG cable, uh, and then you plug you know that shit to a USB cable, and then from the USB cable to uh, a micro USB to your phone, and that's how you would play it. Uh, I probably kind of try that first before I sell this, and this one was cheap, so I think I can make profit if I have to resell it. Anyways, I'm going to do that. Uh, in the meantime, I might do a video, since this is a Linux channel. You know, we might do a video on how to set this up on Linux. I think you can do it. I'm not sure. I'm still using the, you know, the Xbox 360 controller from my computer. But uh, we'll try it out anyways, right, over Bluetooth with this on Linux. So that's one thing I picked up, uh, I think, like, last Monday or something. Now, these I got today, uh, a few hours ago. This is the Kindo. What was that? Well, this one is buying this here. This is the Kindo Paperwhite 2. And I also got, what was that? The Kindo Paperwhite 1 uh, from the same person. It was a really cheap price, so that's why I got two of them. And I think we can do some tutorials out of this. I'm not sure, but as far as this channel, it is running Linux uh, somewhere in there in the operating system, right? Uh, if you use the Amazon Kindle and the last e-ink reader I've used or I own was the Sony PRS 505 um, that one was a long time ago and that thing didn't have Wi-Fi it was fucking slow and shit and once I got these I was feeling like a uh, fast I don't know why but it's kinda like comparing it to 56k and then you go on to broadband that's how I feel like right now when I have these. And the good thing about this is, let me give you an example here. Uh, let me open this here. Oh, let me do my password. I have to set a password in here because, you know, I'm going to read some porn. Okay, so let me go in here. So in here, uh, it has the brightness built in. So this is amazing, guys. I'm going to read this at night. Right, so that's the brightness. The other thing is that uh, if you watch my older videos on Caliber and was that uh, you was that Ubukuti, I think that's how you say it. But basically, those are like comic servers or book servers that you can do with your Linux machine. I'll, I'll post you a videos on that in the description uh, if you missed it. But uh, basically, you have a uh, let me go close to the camera here. But basically, you can use this uh, experimental browser that they have in here. And I have it in the bookmarks here. So basically, I already uh, set up my server. And you see that it connects to my, um, let me see you zoom in here. You see all the links here? This is basically my router. Uh, and that's where it's, uh, or I mean my server. And these are the IPs, like you know, that the router gives you. Uh, but basically, I can connect to you know my Caliber Comics here, and you have to convert it to either Mobi or uh, was that AZW, whatever. And you can actually just download from here if you want. So if I hit download, hit OK, and look at that, it will download the files. Right, I'll say finish or whatever. And you can go back, see here, go back, and there you go. This is uh, the comic we just download, and we can read it. 
And there we go. This is the comic. Let me zoom in here. Zoom in. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. So you can actually read it from here. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let's go back out here. Come on, man. Back out. The other thing is, that's one's for Calibre, but let's go back to the browser here. Uh, what the hell is the other one? Let's go to my bookmarks. Now, that one's for Calibre if you actually want to download uh, your comics or your books or whatever. But for me, I want to just read it. Uh, you know, straight from, uh, you know, over Wi-Fi or something from my, my local server that I'm hosting, you know, all my comics. And the other one I talked about a long time ago was Ubukuti, right? And you can actually read it from here without downloading either. So let's go into that here. Here. Come on, open it. There we go. And in here, you can actually read it, but I don't want to show it off, I don't think. I think it has some porn in here. Might not be suitable for uh, YouTube. But yeah, here, you see here? This is. Let's zoom in here. All right, my comics and stuff that I can uh, browse through and I can just read it. I don't have to download it. It'll just, uh, it'll just load the page over Wi Fi. Uh, so I don't have to keep any porn on my, uh, you know, my uh, Kindle here. And I can be safe. It will just run from my server and I can just connect to it over Wi-Fi. So that's how I'm going to read stuff in here. Anyways, pretty cool purchase. And I think we can do some tutorials with this also uh, relating to RSS if we're going to do that. I'm not sure if it will work out, but I'll figure it out. And maybe we'll make some videos related to the channel, which is Linux and stuff. Uh, that's it for this one and the update. I'll probably do some what was that, other tutorials. On Linux, I don't know. I've been bored doing tutorials. That's why I haven't done videos in a while. But I uh, might get back to that uh, maybe next month or something. We'll see. Anyways, that's it for this one for this update video. And oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I got this one off of Craigslist. Uh, if you ever use that in the United States. These two, I got it on OfferUp. It's kind of like a Craigslist competitor, but it's more of like a... Uh, mobile phone users so you can just download the offer up app and you can just you can actually post there if you want really easy just take a snapshot of what you're selling put a price put a little description title and, and then you're done in like a minute or something like that uh, pretty easy to do and that's where I got this from so Craigslist and offer up pretty cool check it out that's it for this one